hello and welcome back to the vlog if you saw my last video which was my holiday gift guide you would see me in this exact outfit because I just finished filming that video and I'm currently snacking on some honey roasted peanuts these are from Trader Joe's they're so good and I just felt like vlogging we're going to a holiday party tonight it's like our annual friends white elephant gift exchange holiday party which is gonna be really fun I do need to make a proper meal, so I'm gonna make some gluten-free Annie's. I just made myself another cup of coffee because we got a long night ahead of us. And yesterday at Superstore, I found these silk peppermint mocha creamers, so I bought three because they're so good. So that's what I'm gonna put in my coffee. I was never a peppermint girly up until like last year, and now I'm obsessed. I want white peppermint mochas all the time. I don't know what it is, but I just love it now. I feel like I have so much to fill you guys in on. I wanna show you some of the like holiday gift and PR things I got in, which is like so very exciting. I also recently got this sweater from Brunette the Label. I went to their holiday event two days ago and they gifted me a set and I picked out this sweater and then the matching pants, which I showed on my Instagram, but I put this sweater on and I was filming. Fun fact about me, so I'm very sweaty, so I don't normally film with pants on if it's just like a sit down video. And so I didn't want to wear any pants and this basically fits like a dress. I'm not gonna, you know, you can't even see the end of it. It's very Ariana Grande of me, but it is so cozy and I'm kind of like, do I wear this tonight as a dress? Do I wear the pants? What do I do? Regardless, it is so comfy and I highly recommend. I do think I have a discount code for Brunette the Label. I will try and find that. I think it's Babes Love Michaela. But you can try that for a discount on their website and uh, get you one of these. It's also so cute because it zips up. Let me show you. You can wear it as a cute little turtleneck that'll keep you warm. And they had it in a cream color and a black, I believe, as well, which is super cute. But I love everything for a screen, and that's just going to be my color from now until the end of time. Last time I was at Trader Joe's, I picked up a advent calendar for Cody and I. I chose this one, and then he got this one. And I forgot to open it the past two days, so I just had chocolates one and two, and they were very good. These were like a dollar or 99 cents or something crazy at Trader Joe's. So this is super fun. I haven't had an advent calendar, a chocolate, like traditional advent calendar in years. So this is very cute. And we did in fact decorate for Christmas. Everything is pretty well in the same spot. It always is. So I didn't really feel like filming it or showing you guys because I feel like it's been the same for the past five years. And the only gifts we have under the tree so far are for the white elephant game tonight. One of them has a bottle of Martini Asti and some hot sauces. It's kind of like a spicy and sweet little gift and then the other one i did a cricket gift i made a t-shirt with like an inside joke with that friend group on it which was really fun it was definitely one of my better ideas and so that's what's in the other one wrapped all cute ready to go for tonight and then really the only other like holiday decor that we do other than the wreath on the laundry door is like the mantle normally i kind of weave some fairy lights into this but i couldn't find them so i just put it up we have our stockings and then these are like little bell collars for the cats they absolutely hate them someone put my snow globe out of place but i have my snow globes down here i have the givenchy one one that is new from burks and then this gold one is from west elm but i also got that as a gift from a brand and now i have three and they're so cute so i think they look really good together and a little bird i guess i do have a bit of an update for our bed so i put on our flannel sheets which are by the brand ugg i'm obsessed with them they're like a cream flannel they are seriously so cozy and then i had this cover cushion cover from H&M home that I put over just one of the regular yellow pillows that I normally keep on my bed to make it more fun and festive and then we have this new weighted blanket that I just got in from Baraby it's a Canadian brand and it's like a velvet woven weighted blanket it's 15 pounds and it's so soft and I'm still getting used to it and so are the cats but it's been really fun and I think the color choice was really good. So if you're looking for a weighted blanket that's like super aesthetic, definitely recommend this one. And speaking of advent calendars, this is not sponsored in any way, but I wanted to show you the large boxes behind me. And not only is there one box, but there's two and they're very heavy and very large. They are from See You Later Ranch, which is a wine company and it says that they're 12 days of wine. So this is a wine advent calendar and I've seen so many people talk about this on Instagram and like do sponsored posts and stuff, which is really great. And it is so cute. And I have no idea why they sent me two. I feel like this is like illegal me showing you this because I think that was probably a mistake, but also 
not mad at it to have extra wine and to be able to gift a bunch of wine as well as enjoy it myself so when i picked these up at the post office she was like do you have a car because these are really heavy and she was not joking there's 12 full-size bottles of wine in each of these boxes and i have already gone ahead and dug into them but i figured we could open number three together i am definitely going to be bringing wine to the party tonight to share with all of my friends okay day number three what do we got okay this one is called the luna it's available only at BC liquor stores and it's from the Okanagan Valley 2020 love it Luna is the name of Brittany's dog so perhaps I will gift her one of these bottles I don't think I've tried any wine from this brand so I'm very excited I feel like there's gonna be a very good variety among these 12 bottles and I just feel really special that I somehow managed to get an extra box which is insane but again thank you so much not complaining <laughs> eating had my coffee Cody is on his way home right now he was out basically all day which allowed me to film which was good but like I said we have that Christmas party to go to tonight and I wanted to make some cookies I just got some like you know pre-made dough from the grocery store to pop in the oven to make some fresh chocolate chip cookies to bring with us and then also on the list for this evening is to shoot our holiday card if you don't know pretty much every single year since we've been together we shoot a pretty ridiculous holiday card and they're usually pretty like cheesy or cute and yeah every year we do one last year we held off on doing Doing it I was just not in the festive spirit last year it was a rough time so we weren't really like on the ball with it and I feel like it just like kind of passed by us and so I wanted to be a little bit more prepared this year because I want to get them like professionally printed because it looks so much better so yes we're taking our photos and each year it gets a little bit more digitized so a lot of this year will be done actually by AI because Cody's been playing around with that a lot. And so essentially we'll be taking our photos like individually and then he will be photoshopping and AIing basically the whole concept, which is kind of crazy and wild, but I think he has a very clear vision of what he wants and we kind of came up with the theme together. It's going to be like a Whoville theme. So I need to go and add like some little lashes and maybe take off my eyeliner, maybe add some more blush to like my nose and stuff. I'm not really sure. We're gonna have to plan it out a little bit, but I am gonna put those cookies in the oven first so I can get those baking. Here's the first batch. I do have a little bit of cookie dough left and it only made this many. I'm gonna see how well they expand, but I do actually have another package of these. So I might do another sheet. We'll see how this one goes though. If you're not starting your holiday pre-party with a liquid IV, you're doing it wrong. I always like to have one of these before a night of drinking because it just makes it a lot easier and you feel so much better the next day when you have one of these before drinking and then after drinking. They're the best. This one is the one that has um, energy in it too, which is always nice. So golden. It's a little while later, as you can probably tell, and we're shooting our holiday card. We actually just finished, but I wanted to get a clip of this hair before I take it out. So the way I did this was I put a Starbucks cup like one of the plastic cups in here tied it up There's a hair scrunchie in here as well And then Cody tied on the bow for me and the kind of looks like I have bangs But it kind of works and then for my makeup to make me look more like a Whoville person I doubled up on lashes. I just took an old pair and glued them to the end and then put another bit on the end there added some white kind of like face paint stuff. It's from Suva Beauty. I did a super rosy cheeks and nose with a bunch of highlighter, a little fake freckle. And then for my lips, I reapplied that red lipstick and added a little bit of shimmer. And then I'm wearing this like poofy dress that I got from the latest scoop that I've shot in before, but I thought it would be cute for the holiday photo. And now Cody is going to import the photos. We took them separately. Typically how we take this is like, I'll take a picture with Snix and then Cody will take a picture with Noodle and then he combines them. And that's truly the only way to get the cats looking. We also had to stand behind the camera with a little, you know, incentive, something for them to look at. But I think it turned out good. This hair is hilarious. I kind of just like had the thought. I was like, I wonder if putting a cup in my head would make it stand up. And it's like, I mean, I couldn't dance like this or anything, but for a photo, not freaking bad. Code's opening his advent calendar, but look at how good these cookies look. Oh my god, they smell so good. Not sponsored, but this is what I made tonight from HelloFresh. It's their winter risotto. I love a risotto, and this one takes like 50 minutes, but I think I nailed it. 
There's like meatballs on top, there's squash, kale, Parmesan, smells really good. Time slipped away from me and now I'm rushing to get to the rumble class that I booked. I think tonight is like deep cut EDM. Should be fun, I just chugged a little bit of pre-workout. I'm gonna go do the damn thing. Hello friends, it is now Wednesday evening, like 6 p.m. Yesterday I only got like two clips of my food, so that was a fail, but I plan on vlogging again tomorrow because I'm actually going to get my Botox touched up, which I'm so excited for. I have been getting Botox in my TMJ muscles or my masseter. I think that's what it's called, muscles. Uh, this will be my third session getting it done and each time it lasts a little bit longer. So the last time I got it done was over six months ago. And then last time before that was like October of last year, if that makes sense. So each time I try and go a little bit longer without getting it just because it lasts a little bit longer in you, which is really nice and it makes a huge difference. I can basically tell when it's starting to dissipate in my body because I can feel the muscles hurting again and it's really noticeable for me so I'm very excited to go in and get that done and I'm also gonna get a consult done for another round of cool sculpting again this will be my third round if we go through with it I have just been you know not feeling the most confident with my chin and when I originally got cool sculpting done I had lost a bunch of weight as well I lost about 20 pounds and I'm about 30 pounds different from then um, so yeah it's kind of always going to fluctuate and cool sculpting although it is a permanent thing a non-invasive and permanent thing it does fluctuate and since I've had two sessions I had both sessions done kind of on either side so I feel like that part of my chin is actually really good and defined it's just this middle section that's still kind of causing me a little bit of issue especially with like filming and stuff and so even last time when I got it done which was over two years ago maybe more I was told that maybe the next time I got pool sculpting done they would just focus on the center so I'm kind of thinking that's what they're gonna say but we'll see nonetheless talk to the professionals tomorrow you guys know I just love low heat laser and I'm really excited they were able to fit me in tomorrow to do all those things so I will definitely be bringing you along tonight I have dance I just got myself a little bit ready I kind of spent most of the day doing some content filming and stuff so that was top priority but I got it all done which makes me feel good and that's all handed in a day or two early which always feels nice one of my Black Friday purchases came in the mail yesterday I got three pairs of shoes from call it spring I paid for these with my own money and I wanted to show you them because they're very cute everything was on sale like I said for Black Friday so the first pair I picked up was a pair of pink heels pointed toe because I have a pair exactly like this from Zara but they got so worn I wore them so much over the summer and the spring that they're kind of like ruined on the inside and I think a cat got to the outside of them so I picked up this pair they're not quite as comfortable as the other ones but they are comfy and it's kind of interesting because the heel is a triangle so that's kind of cool the next pair of shoes I picked up are for my upcoming dance show Brittany actually got these first tried hers on I was like yeah sure those are cute and I will purchase them too so I think I got the last pair online I'm not sure but there are these white white heels they're super super cute the heel is um thin which I love this style of shoe I actually dance in a pair that are from Aldo so from the side they look like a stiletto but they're actually quite stable and thick which is really nice I also just love the gradient I think that's so cool so yeah these are going to be my dance show shoes for the space show because they're very spacey I actually sized up in these these are a nine and I'm normally a true size eight so they run quite small just a note if they are still available online. And then the last pair of shoes I got are definitely the ones most out of my comfort zone, but my goodness, I'm so excited to wear them. Look at these, look at the sparkly heel. That is so fun. I do not own any platform shoes and these ones are actually extremely comfortable. So this is what they look like. They're like a black satin and they are so much fun. I am so tall in these, but like I said, they're actually quite comfortable. I was kind of expecting to get them and be like, these are not gonna happen, but I think I could actually properly wear these on a night out. I'll definitely be trying it. Maybe if I end up doing something fun for New Year's, I could wear them. I don't know, I'm just so excited. I feel like they're so trendy right now. They make your legs look so long and I feel like a brat stall when I wear them. So yeah, don't know where I'm gonna wear them or when I'm gonna wear them, but I cannot wait to because they're so fun. Hello and good morning. It is now Thursday. It's Botox day, which I'm so excited for. Cody is just running in to pick up some Starbucks breakfast for us. And then we're gonna be on our way to Low Heat Mall, Low Heat Laser. And we're gonna start with my um, cool sculpting consultation. I don't really know. It's been a long time since I've had a consultation for it. 
So we'll see what that entails and then I'll do the Botox. I have a couple questions for Dr. Selena Lee in regards to Botox in different areas of my face. So I'll ask my questions, get some content. So I have Cody and then we do have to run a couple errands. I need to pop into Walmart and the, what I think is a mini so right beside or a Ono Mono. Oh, oh, I don't know, remember the name, but it's like an Asian dollar store and it's so great. I need to get Q-tips. I love getting the Q-tips that have the point to them. So good for cleaning up messes with makeup and I'm gonna need a lot of those coming up. So that's kind of the plan. Tis another, oh wow. Tis another gloomy day here in Vancouver, but we have a special delivery. Sorry, do you want me to take it? Take it. <laughs> You did it the last time was 2000 and what? You said again? You'll have to check my chart, but it was either okay. 2020 or 2021. Yeah, you're really kind of just holding it in the middle here. You don't really have a lot on the side. We could just put one right underneath. It would be a little bit better if we did what you had previously, the mm -hmm. two, because that way you're hitting underneath essentially kind of twice. Yeah. If you needed to do another one, it would be like that one right underneath to scoop it out under. Editing Michaela here, I wanted to just give a little bit of a trigger warning for those of you that don't like needles. You may want to skip this part or probably not watch the rest of this video because I am going to be showing the Botox needles. So this is your warning. I frown. I'm like, it's on my no, face. No, yeah. you can't remove <laughs> No. That, yeah. It's very yeah. funny. I really want to keep an eye on it just to make sure it's not. Okay. Yeah. Vibration tool. Neat technique. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're all done. Sweet. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. We came for the pointed Q-tips and these are the only packs they have, but at least they have them. As you can tell, we are home now and I'm just editing this vlog, trying to get it finished up before the weekend. And I wanted to just quickly talk about what I got done for Botox. So if you're you know, interested in it, you have a bit more knowledge on what I got done for my procedure. So the first thing I got done was touching up my TMJ and she said that I really didn't have that much. It was actually pretty minimal. And so we did 10 units on each side if you're you know, looking for actual units. So we did 20 in total, 10 on each side, and that was the first thing we did. And then for my forehead, we just kind of touched up all of the lines and the frown muscles. Again, what I get done is basically baby Botox. It's all preventative at this point, and I do notice a big difference. I have one solid line up here that I do notice, and so last time I got it done, I really like the way it looked. And so that is a benefit of it, obviously. And with the TMJ Botox as well, it does slim out your face a little bit. However, that's not the reason that I get it done. It's purely to get rid of the clenching pain, which is nice. And so in my forehead, I got eight units. And then in the frown, she did 12 units. And then we did my lip. And this is something I didn't talk about, but this was my question for Dr. Selena Lee, because I had done a lot of research on Botox for sweat prevention. And I know a lot of people get it done in their armpits, which is 
cool and great and I know it works really really well for people however I sweat really badly on my upper lip and it's always been an insecurity of mine especially as a dancer it is so frustrating especially when I'm on stage I have a self tan on and then I have makeup that just like gets ruined in this area and so I asked her I was like what are the chances of Botox working on my upper lip to stop sweat and she's like I've never done it in that area for that but I don't see why that wouldn't work so maybe we should try it and see how it goes and I was like please let me be your guinea pig I would love to try that out and so we did three little jabs and this one definitely hurt the most that's why you saw her do like the vibration tool kind of distracts you they do ice it before they put it on or before they put the needle in but it was a little poke I mean honestly laser hair removal on your underarms is a lot more painful so and on the other area <laughs> which I also get done at low heat laser but the Botox here was not too bad three pokes and you're done and then you just like it and then it's good and then in the lip we only did three units so I guess one unit per poke and she did say that the results will probably give me a little bit of a lip flip which I don't know too too much about I've never like thought about getting lip injections or do done a lip flip but I think if you put injections like here it'll like flip up your lip like this I don't know we're gonna see how it goes but mainly obviously I got it to prevent sweat so I'm really hoping it works because that would be honestly life-changing for me if I just stop sweating on my upper lip that would be so freaking cool so I'm gonna keep you guys updated and see how it goes obviously you're not gonna be able to tell any of the Botox yet it doesn't like hurt or anything it was like a little bit tender right after I got it done when I went like shopping and stuff I was like oh kind of have a little bit of a headache but nothing too bad so yeah I'm excited for this to kind of settle in I'm really excited again to see how this works and I will keep you updated and then I also showed you guys the consultation for cool sculpting so when that appointment comes around and we do that I will bring you guys along I do have a couple videos already on my channel if you're interested in like my previous experiences with that or how that all works definitely go check out those videos I think if you just search on my channel cool sculpting you'll find them that is the rest of the video I hope you guys enjoyed this very long vlog I feel like it's been a month that I filmed this, but it's only been a week. Let me know in a comment down below if there's any other videos you want to see before I finish off this year, or if there's anything in January you want to see. I love you guys so much, and I will see you in my next video. Have a great day. Bye!